Hey guys, that was a lot. <laughs> Sorry. So I trust. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing something that I have wanted to do for so long. I am obsessed with these videos. I hope that you are too. And the number one reason why I'm doing it is because I love you guys. Pay attention. Here's why. Walmart recently did this curbside delivery thing, which I thought was going to be a grocery situation only, but I put a microwave in there the other day and they came and delivered it to our car. So like anything's an option. So everything that I'm trying on here will be linked in the description box. Then y'all can just put it in your cart, pull up to the door and nobody even has to get hurt inside Walmart or end up on the people of Walmart's page. What can I say except you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so we are going to start the video off with this dress. This is the brand Time and True. It comes in several different patterns. I really loved this for like a 4th of July moment. And let me say that this brand, this item is the highest quality. It is so nice. It's got like a really nice lined skirt underneath it. I love this. The only thing I don't love is I wish it did come in. You guys, my waist, which you'll see in another dress, is a lot smaller than this. This does not snatch her up. Okay, for the shoes that I have on right now, which I don't think you can see from back here. Like, I feel like they're blending in with the carpet. But let me show you something. I'm sorry. Matching mommy and me shoes. Now, technically, they're not supposed to be. I don't think these are little girl shoes, but they go all the way up to like adult sizes and little girls. So I got a pair for me. And you guys, these are so comfortable. Like, I think I need to keep these because they're so comfortable and they're wide. My feet are so wide and I can't fit them into anything. They're so comfortable. These are absolute keepers, 10 bucks. So cute, so comfy, so good for a little summer action situation. This is a win for all of us who have feet that are shaped like Doritos. Okay, so here's outfit number two. I'm gonna back up so you can see it. For starters, we have the No Boundaries Brushed V-neck tee. Um, this is in a medium. It is so comfortable. I really, really like this. I absolutely could have sized up to a large, maybe even an extra large. Really like things that are fitted in here because I feel like it shows that I have a small waist. Now, these shorts, I'm gonna back up. Guys, I wanted to try something out of my comfort zone. The brand is Tara and Sky. This is a plus size brand. And I'm gonna be honest, they're really cute in theory, but I just don't know like if in practice, like they're, they're also a little big in the back for me, see? And that's the thing, because you guys, I need to buy bigger sizes for them to get up over my butt, thighs, legs. But then, because my waist is 10 inches smaller than my hips, like, I've got horrible gapping from it. So, this is the Zero X. You know, I could wear it down here. I don't know that that flatters the shape of my body. I feel like it really, it, you know makes me look big. I always think that like the best place for my stuff to sit is like kind of right here, you know, like a true high-waisted something. These wedges, you guys, stop what you're doing and go buy these right now. I'm a mom. I don't really wear heels. They're good in theory. Like, we still wanna be cute, we still wanna be popping, we still wanna like, you know, have our lives together. But like, what are we gonna do? Like be like walking down the street with a little stroller and like our heels? Like it just doesn't make sense for our lives most of the time. But these shoes, these shoes you can mom in. These shoes you can mom in. Let me explain. This is the shoe. The brand is Big Buddha. The price is 14 98 these are so nice so nice you guys this is the espadrille wedge i just cannot like okay like they're not like it's absolutely like 
man-made leather, which means the buckle and stuff, like this is gonna, gonna break down eventually. They're probably gonna start to split, that kind of a thing. But $14, you guys, there is no heel. It's just a platform, which means it's the equivalent of dang near flip-flops. Like y'all have flip-flops that have a higher platform than this because the arch from here to here is like almost non-existent. Like technically, like that's how high your foot is arching. With these, you can absolutely take your like mom who tried but didn't try hard enough look to like mom who made it. Look moms, we made it. Shoe drop where you're still in this shirt. And then this is another version of what I just showed you, but they're like more like a capri length. And you guys, I don't know why, maybe it's from the belt, but these fit me so much better. Oh, are we see-through? Am I noticing we're see-through? We might be see-through guys. These guys are not from uh, Walmart. They're from Target. They're $25 from Target, but I'm sorry. Like, happy 4th of July. I'm just saying. Okay, this next look is brought to you by Red Solo Cup and Budweiser. Yes and amen. A sis did that, mm-hmm, okay. You guys, okay, so this is just a basic like $5 t-shirt at Walmart, but it's cute. And yes, I love a good crop top. I feel like, you know, if other people wear a nice dress because they have good legs, I don't have good legs, I got chubby legs. So you know what we do? I got a good waist. I understand if that's not a lifestyle you like to live. Some people are more modest than that. Other people are a lot less modest than that, but this, is my own personal preference and what I feel comfortable in. And this just makes me feel good. It's $4.97 and it's glittery and cute. And I'm wearing the Target red heel. I'm a fan. I like this one. It's a look. We did that. Okay, so if the last look made you feel like you should have been in like Post Malone's Beer Bongs and Bentley's music video and you want more something, a little Food Network chic, this is the look for you. This is a shirt. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I absolutely feel like I should sit down and like let somebody like put their hot wings on me, you know? Like look like a tablecloth right now. But I feel like it would look really good on someone the shirt fits really nice. I don't know, like it's cute. I actually size down on this one as well. Um, this is a medium, so an eight to 10, it's 11.86. And the brand is Time and True. I have never in my life really been able to get to wear a romper period because they're usually a one piece situation. And in order to get things over my butt, I have to buy them in a gigantic size and then they're way too big on my waist. This surprised me. This is an extra large and it fits. I'm not sure if it's a little funky on me and I would really, really love your opinion. So please like leave something in the comments and be like, sis, it's not for you. It kind of makes you look like a potato sack with like a belt around it or like, mm -mm, no, I can see it. It's working. Just like let somebody know. Also, I'm not changing my bra to like make it match this. I'm not that kind of girl, you guys, sorry. Um, it's spaghetti strap. I don't know if that matters to you, but this is the look. She's a denim, like, sh capri romper thing. Kind of cute. I kind of, like, I just feel like it does something funky in here. Like, it might be fine when I, like, stand still. When I move, like, what is this that it creates? I don't know. I'm not a fan, okay? Um, the back, the back is nice. The back is all right. Uh, it's a little bunchy right here, but I don't mind that at all. Definitely makes my butt look gigantic, but I'm not sure if that's the romper's fault or my butt's fault. These shoes are what I was wearing with this. These are so cute. Like they're $7, $6.97, super cute. 
Um, I had to get them in a nine to fit my foot. They're really narrow in here and my foot takes up pretty much the whole length and you guys might, the length of my foot is a seven and a half. However, I do have a super wide foot so often I have to size up, but the length of my foot is usually a seven and a half. I would size up if you wanna get them, but they're so cute. This is the last and final thing I purchased before we get into the swimsuits. This is like the last clothing look. And you guys, I don't know if it's picking up, like it's got like an asymmetrical thing. This is no boundaries, size large, 11 to 13. I'm not gonna lie, a sister is squeezing down here. I love the way that like my waist is snatched in this. With these guys, like it's a look, sis. Again, my butt is gigantic. I think at this point, we're just gonna stop blaming it on the piece of clothes and call it what it is. The dress was 988 and it comes in red online. So if like y'all could rock like a solid red dress, this would be the one for you. This is the, these are both in a size large. I could have gotten the extra large to be on it. Yeah, I don't know. I really like the whole like, this red, white, and blue thing. A lot of like crop tops that I like to wear are similar to this. I wouldn't be mad if these bottoms had like another inch. I know y'all are like, just put on a one piece and be done with it. But I don't like, I feel like things are truly high-waisted if they really cover the belly button. Like I really like the belly button covered and like, like this much out. So, um, yeah, the back of this top is like really cute. I think it's interesting. I think it's gonna leave kind of funky tan lines, but I think it's really cute. I really, really like it. And I don't know, like I'm comfortable in this. I feel cute, I feel good, I feel like it looks good. Um, I'm gonna show you the, I got another bottom. Hang on, I'm gonna grab it. So I also grabbed this bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like on. Let's take a look. Let's see how it works. Is it just me or does it suddenly look like I shoved a tire in here? I don't know if it's the way that the stripes are sitting, but it like my belly line, like it's all way more noticeable in here than I feel like the red one. Again, I don't know if like you guys feel like that too, but man, I don't know if stripes are for me y'all. We might just have to leave that to the flag. I don't think this one's very flattering on me. Final thoughts. This wraps up the end of my Walmart haul. And I have to say that overall, I really feel like their stuff fits nicely. They've really stepped up their game. Some of these pieces are just so cute and very, very affordable. Nothing was more than like $16. And I just think that that's a win. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm, I'm not trying to sound like I'm begging, but like I kind of am begging because I really want to get my first thousand subscribers. It would mean the world to me. And have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye.